Live across America, Mike Horn and Paul Stern and What's Cooking on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Welcome, everybody, to the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment program, What's Cooking? I'm Paul Stern. In today for Michael Horn, we have at the half with us, Erica Kynes. Hey, how's it going, Paul? Hey, good to be with you. Exciting weekend edition yeah. of the What's Cooking program. Glad to be with everybody listening in all across the country. We've got quite a program in store today. Absolutely. You know, when I hear Mumbo Gumbo, there's only one name that comes to mind, and that's Chef Claude Beltran. He'll be joining the show today. Chef Claude Beltran will be in the house. Absolutely. So we're going to be celebrating the Mumbo Gumbo event uh, September 16th this year. We'll find out all about that. Also, Karen Shaler, uh, host of Travel Therapy and Travel Now. She's going to give us some great pointers on travel. Of course, travel season's definitely changed since days of yore, but uh, Karen's got her ear to the rails, and she'll give us some insight on that. How cool is that? Anybody else joining us today? Steve Evans, Steve the Movie Guy. Yeah. Steve the Movie Guy. Absolutely. And, uh, show. Okay, really cool. And uh, I thought we were going to be talking with Larry Van Alst. I believe. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Larry Van Alst is on the list. Thank oh. you, sir. I oh. see a very, a very small blip up here. That does say yes, Larry Van Alst, and he it coins him as the Napa Valley wine rep, and also the host. Yeah, no, wait a second. Of the what's he, cooking wait, on no, wine? No, that is report. actually not correct. That is a misprint. That, that is, is a misprint. That yeah. is a typo. Larry Van Alst is not the Napa Valley <laughs> wine rep, and I don't even know who is the Napa I have Valley no idea. wine. He is rep. from Sonoma County. Yeah, he's from Sonoma yeah. County, of course, for many years at the uh, at the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center at That's the right. Equus Restaurant. Oh, beautiful look. And Courtney Kadera, our lovely Courtney Kadera, the producer of the Robert Conrad Show. Actually, was just up there this past weekend. <laughs> Too bad we don't have her on the program to kind of give, recount uh, yeah. her Sedoma experience. I would love to hear that. I, yeah. I, I certainly would, if you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. She said it was quite a great time. I bet it, I bet it was. Uh, Larry Van Alst will be with us, of course, again, uh, formerly the sommelier at the Equus Restaurant and now currently the host of the What's Cooking show, uh, the Sonoma Report. So. Yeah. And again, he broadcasts Wednesdays live from the Fountain Grove Inn and Conference Center, that hotel and conference center, from their Equus Wine Bar. So uh, be sure to check it out if you're in the Santa Rosa area. And if you're listening to CRN Digital Talk, do to it on Wednesdays for all the festivities. Hey, talk about the festivities. I don't know if anybody happened to catch this one on the news, but did you happen to catch, what was it, a bank robbery in progress that uh, yes. was caught on television? And th th I don't know if, if the bank robbers in question Alleged bank robbers in question are actually either um, good at what they do or just simply buffoons. But they actually were throwing bills, like the money out the window uh, of the car as they were like, uh, being uh, pursued by local authorities. Check this out. So the, the bank chase started in uh, Santa Clarita. And uh, the bank was robbed in Santa Clarita. The guys then proceeded. They, they stole a Volvo down in South Central, drove up to Santa Clarita, and then robbed the bank, and then were chased down back to South Central. And um, once they entered the neighborhoods in South Central, they started throwing the money out of the windows. It was said in an effort to thwart the police efforts That's to pursue. That's what I think, because somebody dubbed these people, these individuals, the Robin Hood bandits. The Robin Hoods. And I don't think that th that was their intent. Well, I think you, you want to hear something interesting about this story. Apparently, that, that scheme actually played against them because the lie uh, video coverage on the news people were coming out of their houses waiting for them to drive by so the streets were congested with people waiting for free money and that's how the cops eventually caught them because they couldn't get through the people they eventually were apprehended yep they, they were stopped by their own their there own uh, plot area. crime doesn't pay unless you're on the uh, sidelines area. Talk about crime doesn't pay i'm not going to get too much into this but poor sally struthers from the all in, what all in the family program oh, of yeah. the many years ago arrested for the dui in maine oh boy wow yeah I'm a little unfair. Sally Struthers uh, still parting it up, huh, it looks like. Well, I don't know if she was parting it up, but uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, one should not drink and drive. And unfortunately, apparently, according to at least uh, the information at hand, Sally Struthers did. Oh, boy. Try Fry Vineyards, the Mendocino County organic wine with no sulfites added from America's pioneering organic winery, Fry Wine, the first maker of certified biodynamic wines in the United States. At Fry Wines, our emphasis is on producing organic wine of the highest quality while caring for our planet and palate alike. 
Check out our website at frywine.com. Enjoy the Fry Vineyards Wine Club. You'll receive 20% off all orders and much more. Plus, you can check out our internet-only specials. And go to our crntalk.com website or the frywine.com website and check out Chef Piero's Recipe of the Week. Great biodynamic wines from Redwood Valley in Mendocino County, California. Fry Wines. Go to frywine.com. That's F R E Y W I N E. Frywine.com. Check it out and enjoy great wines at your home tonight. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. What? Talking food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment. I'm Paul Stern. That is Erda Kynes. You're in tune with the What's Cooking program. I want to give a big shout out to all of our friends listening in on Napa Valley's KVON. That is Jeff Sheckman and Company. They yeah. do a fine job uh, producing uh, great radio for the uh, wine country of Napa Valley, California. Big shout out to Gab, too, for taking the show. Yeah. Pat. Everybody on our CRN Digital Talk Network enjoying the What's Cooking program. Hey, one of our one of our particulars here at CRN Digital Talk, none other than our next guest, Larry Van Alst. And I gotta tell you, when it comes to kinda well, the inside, the the knowledge of the Sodoma wine country, I don't think we're gonna get a better bigger and better authority than our very own Larry Van Alst. Let's kinda find out what's happening in Sodoma. Hey Larry, welcome to the What's Cooking Show. Hey, Paul. Hey, Eric. Thanks for the bigger part on there. Everybody reminds me of that on a daily basis. <laughs> and by the way, you know, you got it right, because we're going to talk, be talking on the uh, Sonoma Report uh, this, this week about uh, a little bit about Napa, one of the great wineries over there. So I cross over. You know, we're pretty provincial here. We love Sonoma County. Uh, but Napa, Mendocino, Lake County, Marin County, Solano County, all grow oh, great yeah. grapes, and they're all our neighbors. And we, we've got a good neighbor policy here. Everybody's pretty cooperative with the others. So we'll be talking about Napa a little bit uh, on this upcoming Wednesday evening and uh, talking about uh, Sonoma County, too. Well, tell us a little bit about what's happening. Let's first start off with Sonoma to give us kind of the report as to kind of well, what's happening this weekend, uh, first and foremost. Any, any kind of uh, activities, any events that are going on or perhaps wineries that uh, might be doing a little bit extra? Well, you know, all the wineries are involved in harvest right now. This mm-hmm. is the perfect time of year. To visit if you want to see people picking grapes, if you want to see the, the grapes in the big trucks. One of the things on Highway 101, which is our big interstate, we see uh, grapes just or grapes just overflowing the, the huge tanker trucks that uh, that come along, the, the, the drop-bottom trucks that uh, that have grapes in them. It's a, it's a pretty amazing time of year. And you would think that that would slow down wine country, that they're too busy to do anything else. That's just not the case. The big event this week is up at Kendall Jackson, at the, up at their wine tasting center. And they're having the Heirloom Tomato Festival. Oh, They've had it for about 10 or 12 years now. It is a wonderful time. We had uh, Mario Batali is going to be there this year fixing tomatoes. Uh, Guy Fietti, who's a local boy, uh, one of the great chefs on the, on the Food Channel, is going to be up there uh, fixing special things to eat. And they're going to taste 175 wow. varieties of heirloom tomatoes. I think there are about 40 restaurants involved, wow. great Kendall Jackson wines. There's music. There's it's it's a good time as had by all. That's happening both Friday night uh, for the for the big dinner with Mario Batali, and then on uh, Saturday uh, early in the day they start the tomato festival, and it's it's a wonderful time. So those are the big events coming up. And of course, for for our audience out there, even if you don't go to the heirloom tomato festival to Kendall Jackson, uh, those heirloom tomatoes they make their way into the the neighboring restaurants, uh, and they put together some of the most fantastic dishes with those local heirloom tomatoes that uh, you're not going to find it anywhere else in the country. Probably, I mean, not, that stuff can be shipped, but there's nothing like getting it farm fresh. You know, it's it's real important. There are a lot of a lot of areas in the United States where people are proud. You know, New Jersey tomatoes of all places. You would think that uh, that's not a place where they'd be real proud. But the tomatoes coming out of New Jersey are wonderful. They're well, they got a tomato for the governor. Well, <laughs> you can uh, yeah, he probably <laughs> had one or two. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you can find them uh, around the country, but we're pretty proud up here, and especially the heirloom. As I mentioned, 175 different varieties just at Kendall Jackson. But there are considerably more than that, and a lot of people specializing in heirloom plants. We just had a big heirloom festival, so all kinds of plants that uh, that don't grow without these special heirloom seeds. Uh, and 
usually they don't travel as well. Uh, usually they're not good as produce in, in markets. Uh, so you have to you have to get them at the source, and That's you have right. to enjoy them while they're fresh. Well, not, there's nothing better than an heirloom tomato either, Larry. And you know, for listeners out there, some people have not actually uh, even seen an heirloom tomato, and you wouldn't recognize it as a, as, a, as a tomato for most of these because they come in so many different colors: white, purple, uh, you know, just so many different colors. And the the taste and the texture is is something unto itself. It's you know, they're special things. They're not when you go to a, a big chain store and the, all of these things like they're sty, look like they're styrofoam uh, balls at Christmas time, spray painted red with a little green stem <laughs> on them, and they taste about the same. Uh, and then you get a, an heirloom tomato that might be kind of twisty and curvy and with lots of nooks and crannies in it, and have a lot of character to it. And you say, well, that doesn't look too good, and you taste it, and it tastes Best like ever. a tomato is supposed to taste. Oh, yeah. Yeah, often sometimes some of the worst looking uh, produce will actually be the best tasting. Uh, the time with the best tasting, uh, I bet it's probably time has already passed, but one of the things that happens up in that uh, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County area, I think it's actually, if I'm not mistaken, more towards maybe Sebastopol, they do that uh, Gravenstein Apple Festival. That uh, that It's a yearly event where they really do happen to showcase some of, I think, the finest apples to be found anywhere in the world. And, you know, that has happened already. The Gravensteins have come and gone. Okay. They're, once again, they're, they're the type of things that don't travel too well. Gravensteins are maybe the best pie apple in the world. Uh, very few of them around, but it, they don't seem there. There are a lot of the Pippins and the Granny Smiths and, and uh, some of the Braeburns and Fujis. Those you can put a little wax on, put them in a storage building, and keep them for a year. Uh, the Gravensteins, they last just a couple, couple of weeks, is, it really, is their, is their life on them. And then they fall apart. So you have to enjoy them while they're while you're here and while it's the season. And now, Larry, I know that something that's become really popular out here in Southern California, and of course all around the the, uh, the growing regions, is kind of like the farm to table movement. A lot of a lot of farms are working with distributors to have like a doorstep delivery services of fresh produce. Is that really popular up in that area right now as well? You know, it's incredibly popular. The the chef at Equus Restaurant where we. Uh, where we broadcast the show on Wednesday evenings, uh, 6 o'clock Pacific time, by the way, if you'd like to listen. The, uh, the chef is always entertaining people who walk in, and it's primarily places like the big Kendall Jackson Garden. They grow an, an amazing amount uh, of fresh vegetables up there, and uh, Matt from KJ uh, will come down and say, gee, look what we have. We have extra vegetables this year. Are you interested? And they'll get everything from cucumbers to tomatoes to squash. To, it's, it's just a, an amazing bounty. It's a great place to go. And people will share that bounty. You know, all of a sudden it explodes this time of year. And you know, want to it, it's just, it's a crazy time. Oh, it certainly is. Talk about a crazy time. A crazy time is going to be had by all this weekend. Uh, no, oh boy. Talk about putting my foot in my mouth. No pun intended. The Staglin uh, Music Festival for Mental Health. Uh, uh-huh. th- this weekend up at the Staglin uh, Winery, date, this is going to be one of the big events. A lot of our listeners, I'm sure, on KVON probably, even as this program is airing, are already making their way towards uh, uh, Staglin, uh, the, the, the winery, for this, various, uh, for this great event where some, I think the, the finest wines, the wines, some wines that never get poured at any tasting events are at this Staglin uh, Music Festival for Mental Health, and this year, uh, Jermaine Jackson oh, wow. is the uh, the the, the uh, entertainer of significance, and they never seem to let anybody down for that uh, great event. So that is taking you know, place this week. That's one of Michael Horn's favorite events. He's uh, he's the guy who just loves that one. Of course, Staglin wines are pre- when you talk about premium wines. I don't think you need to really say much more about Staglin. It's, uh, it's a, a good time is, uh, is going to be going on all over. We have the person from the Hess Collection in Napa coming on the, on the show. Jim Cottle is going to be on our show on Wednesday. Oh, and right. that's a, a spectacular place. There's a museum yes. and winery on the same property. He'll, yes. he'll be over to be cool. talking about what's happening there. Excellent. Hey, Larry, are we up against another guest, Claude Beltran, coming, or can we stick around with Larry here? I don't yeah, Claude, Claude hasn't called in yet, so we can hang out with Larry for a little while. Larry, would yeah. you mind hanging in with us here? I'll stay with you. We'll talk more of the go-it-ons and happenings in the California wine country right after this here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, the What's Cooking Show. Have you heard? Proactive is better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway. 
Do you have troubled skin, acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive, your acne can heal, and you can prevent new breakouts from happening. Be one of the first to try it by giving us a call at 1-800-752-4996. Because we're going to let a million people try Proactive risk-free and also receive our legendary refining mask and green tea moisturizer free if you call right now. You heard it. Be one of the first to try Better Than Ever Proactive Solution. You'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial, plus a free refining mask and green tea moisturizer. Call 1-800-752-4996. This is our best radio offer. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive, plus two free extras. Go to GetProactive.com or call 1-800-752-4996. That's 1-800-752-4996. The Pikes Peak region welcomes you back to the beauty of the Purple Mountain Majesty, to the adventure of the great outdoors, to world-class shops, restaurants, and hotels, to our rich history and heritage, to the events, attractions, and culture that make memories for a lifetime. Colorado Springs and the Pikes Peak region, welcome back. For more information, www.visitcos.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for prescription drugs? Well, we have great news. Now you can finally get prescription drugs at huge discounts from Canada Drug Center. That's right, the most popular drugs for cholesterol, high blood pressure, depression, diabetes, arthritis, and many more are now up to 75% off. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices when you can get brand name drugs at the lowest price? Call today and get up to 75% off all the popular brand name prescription drugs. Never pay high prices again. Get the most popular drugs at huge savings from our our Canadian and international pharmacies and fulfillment centers. No insurance? No problem. Prices are so low you do not need benefits or insurance to get all your prescriptions fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting to take your call now. Order today and get free shipping. Just call 800-932-8046. Up to 75% off all the popular brand name prescription drugs and free shipping. Call 800-932-8046. That's 800-932-8046. If you love great wines, come to Pomar Junction Vineyard and Winery, a railroad-themed winery in California's most exciting new wine region, Paso Robles. Eight generations of family history, dating back to the historic California Spanish Mission period, Pomar Junction Vineyard and Winery. Visit us on the web, pomarjunction.com, or visit us on Facebook at Pomar Junction Vineyard and Winery. Great wines from Pomar Junction. Welcome back, everybody. The nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment program. What's cooking? Paul Stern, Erica Kynes, getting it done. Delicious conversation at hand. Michael Ford, he's on assignment. He's on an actual murder mystery cruise up in Alaska. He'll be back with us next week on the program. I'm sure he might tell us all about it if we ask. And even if we don't ask him, tell us about it. I think you're right on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, for the for the listeners out there, I'm sure that no one on the cruise ship is able to hear the show right now. Apparently, Michael Horn is the uh, the alleged murderer in this uh, in this cruise. I'm kind of spilling the beans on that. I would have had him pegged to be the murderer. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He's he's the dastardly character that uh, that they're all looking for on the ship right now. Hey, joining us on the program, Larry Van Alst, of course, of the formerly with the uh, the, the Fountain Grove. Uh, uh, hotel uh, in and conference center in yeah. and conference center yeah. and of course the the Equus restaurant the and now of course the the host of the what's cooking on wine Sonoma report and uh, there you were telling us a bit about some of the going ons and happenings up at the Sonoma wine country for those that uh, for those that have never been to Sonoma kind of give people kind of a little bit of the kind of the the, the the kind of the the background the description of what it is that they might encounter if they've never heard of it well, Sonoma County is uh, a place uh, in Northern California, about 50 miles north of San Francisco. Just you cross the Golden Gate Bay- Bridge going north, come up the Interstate 101. It's about the size of the state of Rhode Island. It's a good-sized county. There are 14 different American viticultural areas in Sonoma County, so a lot of different, probably more different varieties of grapes grow in this county than any other single county in the United States. So we have a lot of everything from... Uh, uh, 
uh, the Trousseau Gris, which is a real unusual one to some of the best Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. So a lot of things going up here. You can get Italian varietals, you can get French, you can get Portuguese varietals up here. It's a pretty amazing growing spot. Luther Burbank, uh, the great horticulturist, was one of the residents here. He called it the chosen spot on all the earth to live and to grow things. So he, he was famous for developing the russet potato, the Shasta daisy, all of those plums that they make prunes out of. Luther Burbank did that and so many other things. A, a good friend of, of the industrialist uh, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison uh, and Luther Burbank were all pals. They used to sit down and have dinner all the time. So just a pretty interesting guy up here in Santa Rosa. And, of course, to go along with the great wine, there's great food and, and resorts and hotels. You know, without a doubt. And in, he, now here's something new, Paul, and you may not have heard about this. Uh, opening, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be at the, the grand opening weekend uh, on the, the last weekend of this month. Uh, the Green Center, which is uh, just adjacent to Sonoma State University. I, I teach school at uh, Sonoma State University. And the Green Center is a performing arts uh, venue that they have compared often to Tanglewood in New York, uh, and they're saying we're we're getting reviews already because there've been a couple of, of pre-performance or, or pre-opening performances, and they're rating this as they they used it they were shooting when they were building the Green Center, uh, shooting for having one of the best venues in the United States. Now the reviews are coming in, and they're saying this is one of the five best spots on the face of the earth for music. Oh. So it is a spectacular place. It is just amazing. They spent tens of millions of dollars and built one of the great performing arts centers anywhere. And it's, it's primarily a, a music center. Uh, and it, it's, it's opening. I'm going to be at the, the opening performance on Saturday, the, uh, the 31st, uh, early in the morning, to hear the choral group sing in the, in the arts center. It's going to be a great time. People, we're expecting people will come from all over the world to hear the music that happens here. Talk about people coming in from all over the world and uh, performance art. There is probably no more interesting performance art center than what goes on at the the place that is known as the Bohemian Grove. And Larry Van Alst being a, a being a longstanding member of that Santa Rosa, that Sonoma County area, you got kind of you kind of I don't want to say that you know where the the bones are buried, but um, you got stories at least. Uh, that uh, you might tell off air uh, should the situation ever arise that uh, could keep people bug-eyed and spellbound. Well, you know, there's some great stories. The Bohemian Club in San Francisco has uh, an encampment up uh, just off of the Russian River. It's only about oh, 10 miles outside. It's in, uh, in Monterio I, I, on the Russian River outside of Santa Rosa. And all of the movers and shakers, you got the head of Bechtel Corporation. We used to have Richard Nixon there. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's not all conservatives. There are a lot of liberals there, too. You'll have... Uh, uh, Steve Miller from the Steve Miller Band will be there alongside Art Linkletter when he was alive, used to be a, a member there. But Henry Kissinger shows up. Uh, we had Jack Kemp stay in the hotel a few years ago because he was at the, uh, at the Bohemian Grove. The, the, the Sonoma County Airport is just littered with private jets when they have their encampment. And, and in, fact, in fact, I've been told that if you go up to the winery that's known as Paradise Ridge, you get kind of a bird's eye look at all the planes coming in. You know, that's a perfect place to, to see them. You get a good good look out over the Sonoma Valley and see the planes coming in. It gets noisy that time of year. Hundreds and hundreds of people show up, and it's supposed to be just a good time. You, well, you, uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at that, a good time. Perfect. It's supposed to be just a good time, but what it actually is, nobody really knows. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Larry, Larry Van Alts will be listening for your program on Wednesday here on CRN Digital Talk, crntalk.com. Do you own a car you no longer want and you don't have the time or energy to sell it? Donate your car to Heritage for the Blind. Your donation is tax deductible and your car will be towed away for free. Call 800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, trucks, vans, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. Call now. Your donation will help those in need. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call now to donate your car. And as a special thank you, you you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. Call 800-785-9618. Donating is easy. It's tax deductible, and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher by donating. Call 800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Fred Wallen. Please join Howard Bloom and me for Sports Biz Today. We'll discuss this and that and everything in the sports business world. That includes sports media, sports and politics, sports and the economy, sports and our society. We want your opinions. We want your thoughts. Sports Fred at AOL.com. Sports Fred at AOL.com. Give us a call, 818-574-8326. So, again, Sports Biz Today every day, 12 noon Eastern Time, right here, CRN Digital Talk. Sports Biz Today. This is Larry Minetti, and folks, I want to talk to you about one of the drudges of our life, acne. Whether you're a teenager or an adult, you've got to try this product. I've suffered all my life by some kind of a skin breakout, and finally I found a wonderful, wonderful product called Herpanacin. Six months ago, I started it, and now my skin is flawless. There's other products on the market, but they only work topical. They're like Band-Aids. Herpanacin works from inside your body. It cleans your blood, your liver, your bladder. It cleans all your cells. You got to trust me on this, folks. I've been an actor for 40 years, and I really appreciate what I got, and my name is at stake. I wouldn't lie to you. Dr. Wayne Diamond invented this product in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and it really works. Try it now. 888-467-4200, and they'll deliver it right away. That's 888-467-4200. You can smile straight in the world's face this time. Hi, this is Nancy Manetti. I've been using renowned celebrity dermatologist Dr. Randy Capri's incredible skincare products for the last seven months, and my skin has never looked or felt better. Dr. Capri's day, night, eye cream, and body moisturizers are the best skincare products I have ever used. The day cream has a built in sunblock of 30 SPF with glycolic acid that renews skin antioxidants, and vitamin C and E to improve the quality of your skin. The night cream has retinol, plus plant estrogens that absorb quickly to leave your skin glowing. And the eye cream has estrogen and antioxidants. The body moisturizer keeps your skin hydrated, not allowing water to evaporate, causing dryness. You can order them at CapriMD.com. That's CapriMD.com. These products work. This is the Cajun Contractor, Michael King, host of Home Talk USA. I want to personally invite all the CRN Digital Talk listeners to join me each Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. Each week, you can call in and discuss your home improvement projects or repairs with some of the top home improvement industry experts from around the globe. That's Home Talk USA with the Cajun Contractor, Michael King, Saturdays a.m. right here on the CRN Digital Talk Radio. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain Too much of love drives a man insane You broke my will, the butter three Goodness gracious, great balls of fire Hey, welcome back to the What's Cooking program. Again, secondary shout out to all of those people up in Napa Valley headed on over to the Staglin uh, Music Festival for Mental Health. It's probably just getting underway as they're listening to the program uh, yeah. uh, this weekend of... Uh, what is it, the September 15th, I believe, yeah, the day? It's, it's, it's a great yeah. getaway weekend. You know, yeah. a lot of people doing a lot of traveling this weekend, of course, uh, fresh off the summer holiday. And, uh, you know, no one better to give us some great travel advice than the host of Travel Therapy and Travel Now, Karen Shaler on the line. Hey, Karen, how's it going? Good. How are you guys? Doing good. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to. I know that you've been extremely busy with the shows and, of course, your book, uh, Travel Therapy, Where Do You Need to Go? But uh, kind of give us a lowdown. What's the travel season looking like this year? Well, you know what I tell you? It's so encouraging to see that travel is picking up. You know, we had such a couple rough years, and a lot of folks were really struggling and not taking vacations. I don't know if you have that statistic. I have to share it because it's just so alarming to me. But a statistic is out saying more than 220 million vacation days went unused. Oh, my god! Americans unused a year. I mean, to me, that is crazy. But I do understand a lot of time it's finances. But oftentimes, it's just planning. People say it's too overwhelming. I, I don't have time. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Halloween. I mean, today I, I'm coming to you live from the Parc Soleil Orlando. It's a Hilton Grand Vacations Club oh. timeshare property. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the reason I'm talking timeshares is, let's be honest, if you buy a timeshare and you spend the money, you're going to take your vacation. You're not going to be one absolutely. of those statistics. So I think for some people, timeshare is such a smart way to go, especially if you use RCI, which is an exchange program. And by that, you get to exchange maybe your timeshare that you own in Orlando with thousands of properties around the world. And that goes with what I'm talking about today, travel therapy, picking trips based on what you're going through in life. So maybe Orlando is a great fit for one vacation, but now you want something adventuresome. So maybe by using RCI's exchange, you go to Africa or you go hiking in Peru. And it's just a good way to experience and, quite frankly, a guaranteed vacation because you've already spent the time and money researching. You know what you're getting. And if you're even thinking that could be an option for you, but, you know, you're not sure, there's some really cool sites that are allowing you to try out timeshares, rent it, just, you know, like you would a hotel and see what you think. And there's really great deals. We're all looking for deals. You can go to Hilton.com or Endless Vacation Rentals. Dot com. And what I love is if you're kind of last minute and you can be gutsy like that, you can sometimes find these amazing timeshare deals in beautiful resorts around the world, four or $500 for the entire week. And again, you, know, you should see my room here. I, I laugh that I don't want to go back to New York to my tiny studio because you have bedrooms, kitchens, living rooms. You could do a cartwheel. I mean, they're huge. Wow. So if you have a family, this is ideal, especially when you're saving money and you want to you know, make meals inside. Another huge you know, deal that I tell people, and this is so important, you have to get someplace. You're often using an airline, and it's so crazy. How do you, how do you get the best deal? Yeah, how do you get the of, best deal for yeah, everyone? Well, yeah. I bet, tell me now, tell me if you know this when I'm done here. A lot of people don't realize that the airlines change their deals depending on the time of day and the time of week. So most people are shopping on the weekends and after they get home from work. The airlines know it, the prices are higher. Oh. If you can shop on a Tuesday or like at midnight or like at two or three in the morning or even five or six in wow. the morning, you can often find a much better deal. So, so, so aside so, from booking like the red eye to save some money, you could also save money based on the time you actually purchase the ticket. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you mentioned that. That's absolutely true. And Tuesday, Wednesdays, it's ironically, are also good days to fly. Now, doesn't everybody fly Friday and come back Sunday? I mean, you know, the average American. So those are kind of tough to get deals. But if you can come back Monday or you can tr leave on a Tuesday, do the red eye. And, and it depends on how you feel about making stops. I like direct because I travel oh, yeah. so much. So my time is kind of, you know, really important to me to maximize. But if you've got extra time, you're like, cool. Do a couple stops. You'll also save money doing that often as well. You know, Karen, I don't know if you ever thought about this, but uh, I, I certainly think it would be a good idea. Some of this travel therapy that you're offering us, uh, perhaps this could be maybe a, a, a weekly uh, program, maybe if not uh, here on CRN Digital Talk, but it should be done somewhere. And I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm by the pool here. I know you can't see me, and I have some loud kids having way too much fun on their vacation. Can you can you repeat that, or just speak uh, a little bit louder? Yeah, no, I was gonna say, Karen. I, you know, th this type of information is stuff that should be coming to us. I think on a on a weekly basis, uh, oh, thank uh, you. if not here on CRN Digital Talk somewhere, because this is kind of like. Uh, Sometimes it's like unheard of or unknown like information that uh, you're able to kind of give out, especially with this stuff. I mean, over at the, you're at a property that I don't think I've ever heard of. This, this, you said Hilton. Oh, I know. And that's kind of my job, you know, and people joke and I take it very seriously. I come from a news reporter background. I was an embedded correspondent in Afghanistan. So oh. I come from a hard news background, but I take travel just as seriously. Our time and money as Americans, we don't travel enough as it is. So it's, I really consider it my job, you know, on my website website, TravelTherapyTrips.com. I give as much information as I can. And I also have syndicated the Travel Therapy videos globally. You can find them on AOL. You can find them all over. You can find them on my sites. And, and I like video because then you really see what a property or a destination looks like. Of course, I'm a television person, so I'm visual. But the idea is whether it be my videos or others, do that research ahead of time. And make sure I say 90% of a su successful vacation comes in the planning. You don't just grab the newspaper and go, oh, Three ninety nine to so and so. I'll jump on a plane. You really want to make sure that you research it so it is a good fit for you. You know, Karen. Quick question for you before we cut out of here. You know, uh, timeshare purchasing. It's always been a, a big concern for people when they're traveling. You know, they find themselves maybe in a high pressure sales situation. Is there advice for people that want to purchase a timeshare but want to do it the most effective and you know cost effective way? What's the, kind of the best way to do that? You know, absolutely. It's it's a huge purchase, right? It's like anything. I say when you're taking vacation or you're you're doing that, a timeshare is very big. So what I 
really recommend, and this is my personal recommendation, is to try it out first. Try some different properties out, right? I mean, it's like test driving a car. You get a car, you want to do that. And the biggest one is to stay with brands that you know and trust. Do you know those fly-by-night in anything? Yeah, I, I, did, I, I didn't want to go into this, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it, that I know that there are some unscrupulous people, I hate to say this, in, in, in the industry that would actually court or somebody and kind of, uh, uh, kind of oh, I don't want to say force them into a situation, but I know of people that have actually been kind of, uh, what do they call What I hope the term isn't an insult to anybody, but uh, Shanghai, I right. think is the term. Well, that's why it's so important to go with a group when you're looking at doing this, like with RCI. They've been around almost 40 years, okay? They didn't pop up yesterday and asking you, oh, I got a great deal. Come, I'll give you a TV set if, you know, eh, sure. hello. You got to go with the name brands that you know and trust. And it's really important when you're doing a large investment. It's like if you're buying a car, you're not going to go buy a car called the Hobnob and you've never heard of that car. K Karen, you're Karen, buy Karen a name give brand. us a website so we can get additional information. Absolutely. If you're looking and you're even curious, like you were talking about the timeshare, again, I say, Try it, rent some out, see if it's a good fit. When you're on property, you can talk to people. I, I think we're very and, interested. EndlessVacationRentals.com. EndlessVacationRentals.com is a great place to start. It's kind of the, the, the top out there, and that'll get you going in the right direction. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Jay Farner from Quicken Loans. Today's interest rates are the lowest that we've seen in generations. The rate today on a 30-year fixed mortgage is an amazing 3.5%, APR 3.81%. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN. We'll help you keep more of that hard-earned money in your pocket where it belongs. Maybe that's why for the second year in a row now, J.D. Power & Associates rank Quicken Loans highest in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination in the nation. Here are some of the reasons why. We close many of our loans in 30 days or less, and we provide you with industry-leading online apps designed to guide you through the loan process with speed and ease. Again, today's amazingly low rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage is 3.5%, APR 3.81%. So give us a call today at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN. Or visit us at quickenloans.com and find out for yourself why we're engineered to amaze. For J.D. Power & Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. You order a glass of your favorite Cabernet. Fresh asparagus. Hollandaise on the side. A filet. Medium rare. You unfurl your napkin with a flare. Close your eyes and prepare to listen. Ah, there it is. The sweet music you long to hear. The sizzle. The sizzle of a Ruth's Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef, broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at ruthschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. We're back with you, Paul Stern, Erica Kynes, Michael Horn. Unfortunately, honest, I'm, well, he missed that great segment from Orlando, Florida with yeah. uh, Karen Shaler. And uh, that does sound like an interesting thing, that the whole timeshare concept. I got a, you know, a story that uh, I, I might have said it here on the program before. I, I can't recall. I think even Michael Horn, actually, when I first told the story, he actually said, that couldn't have happened. That, that just can't happen. But it actually did. I, I know of somebody that... Uh, uh, went on a vacation to Cancun, and they got off the airplane at the airport, and they were gestured to get on this bus by uh, somebody that looked like uh, they worked in an, an official capacity. Were they like whistling at him, "Hey, come over here, come over here." Come you know, here. how do you get oh, off the plane? And there's always these people holding up like you know an eight by eleven sheet of paper, and uh, you know if you're not exactly familiar with what exactly is going on, and you think that that's the person that you're supposed to report to for maybe your uh, passage or your trip to the hotel, you get you go ahead and follow their lead. And uh, my brother actually, oh, I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, family member, oh, friend, uh, actually got on the bus, and uh, an hour and a half later, 
they realized that they were not being taken to their hotel, oh. but they were being taken to a timeshare. Oh, for a timeshare presentation. For the yeah. presentation. They get the free food, they get free drinks, enjoy yourself, and bye, bye, bye. And th- the people at the timeshare, uh, they, they, had, they couldn't care less that uh, they wanted to go back to their hotel, that they had no intention of uh, getting involved in any kind of uh, uh, timeshare presentation, but they were stuck. Yeah, you know, and I hate to say it, and um, I think that there's a lot of vacationers out there that purchase timeshares and they do it the right way and they they do their due diligence. I unfortunately was not that person. I uh, I did an impulse buy. I was taking a trip to to Mexico to um, Mazatlan, Mexico, before all the hullabaloo, and a beautiful property, luxurious property. I mean, uh, amazingly beautiful oh. property. And um, you know, same thing. We get off the bus and we're looking for a day in Mazatlan, and they said, hey. Free drinks, free food, and uh, get to check out a timeshare and come and join. Come and join the fun. Kind of a hustle. It was a little bit of a hustle. I joined. I, I did join them. Of course, they give you all the free alcoholic drinks you could you could uh, oh. consume in like an hour and a half. And then they usher you into the timeshare presentation, and it you know it all seemed really good. It really did seem very good. But then, some of the things you have to take into consideration is the recurring fees. Aside from your regular timeshare cost, there are recurring fees you have to take into consideration. Uh, you have to consider the the airfare to get out there. How, how soon after you signed up did you realize that you had made a mistake? After I made my first visit back. Back. When I made my first official trip to the timeshare uh, for the timeshare exclusive visit only, I realized that, wait a minute, what did I get myself involved in? Because I realized that once I left the timeshare, once I left the property of the timeshare, all that luxury kind of ended. And I was in the middle of like an impoverished country. And it kind of took away some of the majesty of the purchase. A little buyer's remorse. A little bit of buyer's remorse, yeah. So, I mean, definitely if you guys are going to do it, I can give you a big pointer. Buy the timeshare. Uh, you could buy the timeshare online, person to person, and save yourself sometimes it's, half, even to two-thirds of the original cost. If I'm not mistaken, and again, I, you know, it wouldn't be the first time that I kind of you know, might have heard something and kind of gotten it wrong. Uh, certainly that has happened before. But uh, when Karen and Shaler was uh, discussing the timeshare, at least the property that she's at, at in, uh, she said, I think it was Orlando, at this Hilton property, it sounded like, at least to me, and again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it sounded like if somebody wanted to kind of go there and just maybe test it out on a one-time basis, like uh, you're taking a trip to Orlando, it seemed to me that the opportunity was there that you could maybe just call them up and get a room for the time that you're going. And, of course, if you wanted to have some kind of a continual relationship with them, I'm sure you could. But, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't seem unreasonable, I think, from a consumer's point of view, that a person can uh, treat a timeshare property uh, as if it was a hotel and uh, kind of get a feel for it. And, of course, if they are interested in uh, uh, further uh, a further experience at the timeshare that uh, might involve like maybe uh, uh, signing up for some kind of a commitment, then they can go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm kind of curious because I always like to see kind of some of the uh, differences in between various uh, uh, properties, whether it be a hotel, timeshare, bed and breakfast. You know, bed well, and breakfast. I'll, I'll tell you, you're, you kind of hit the nail on the head there, Paul, in that when I did go back to visit, uh, I did find out that there was a lot of people that were staying there. Like it was a hotel. They basically called the property up and they said, I'd like to stay for a week. And, uh, you know, basically- didn't you also get some kind of a, a Vegas? What wasn't Vegas? Didn't you get sucked into like a Vegas trip too? I, I did take a timeshare presentation in Vegas. Uh, and that was probably the most high pressure sale I've ever been subjected to in my life. It was actually the guy literally followed me in my wife out of the property and was shouting at us why won't you stay and it was i mean it was it was embarrassing it was absolutely embarrassing yeah, actually yeah boy th- so th- so you I've had some experience with these presentations. Yeah, now, as far you, you as positive have. experiences, I'll tell you, I've met people that have made this system work. And it's just doing the research. You know, there's books out there on how to do timeshares. There's a lot of inter- information on the Internet. There's timeshare buyers groups, which I definitely suggest if any of you out there are interested in purchasing a timeshare, you could just simply Google timeshare owners groups, and you'll find a bunch of people that are either offloading their timeshares or even willing to rent out their timeshare space uh, at a fraction of what it would have cost if you were to purchase it yourself. So definitely do your due diligence. And I'm going to give you another piece of advice. Never buy on site from that high pressure salesman that promises you the world. Don't do it. Go home with your wife. Talk it over. Talk to your financial investor. Make sure you're making the right decision. And talk to other people that bought timeshares in that same area. Talk to them. 
This wasn't a timeshare, but I actually once went to a visitor center in Palm Springs, and I actually ended up, if you could imagine this, in a hotel that was clothing optional. Oh, nice. There we go. Pa. I bet you fit in well. I actually did stay for the weekend. <laughs> Coming up next, guys, Steve Evans. Steve, the movie guy, we'll be back right after this. How old is the roof on your home? If it's over 15 years old, how much longer will it last before the leaks begin? Think about the damage, then think about this. If it's time for a new roof, call Sears to get your roofing done right. And if you call Sears right now, you'll save $500. Just call 1-888-749-4455. Sears licensed fully insured contractors install a variety of shingles and styles that are built for long-lasting performance. And you'll save $500 if you call right now. So call Sears for a free in-home consultation. That's 888-749-4455. Hurry, this offer ends soon. It's not available in all areas. Installation provided by Sears authorized licensed contractors. License information available upon request. So if you need a new roof, call Sears Roofing. Call right now and save $500. 888-749-4455. That's 1-888-749-4455. Located just 30 minutes from Los Angeles, Malibu Wines Tasting Room invites you to taste from a selection of award-winning wines harvested and produced from local estate vineyards. Nestled high above the Malibu coastline, Malibu Wines Tasting Room is the cozy and chic destination favored by wine lovers. Our friendly, knowledgeable staff will work to ensure that you have an unforgettable afternoon. Remember, Malibu Wines Tasting Room is a great place for parties, meetings, or private events. For more information, go to www.malibuwine.com. That's malibuwine.com or 818 866 50605. Attention business owners, if your company is having trouble paying its bills, there are many ways your creditors can hurt you. They start by calling you at work, then at home, then they call other family members that guaranteed payment. They can sue you, take your assets, freeze your bank accounts, and threaten your very way of life. If you don't handle these matters properly, you could lose everything. The good news is that you don't have to live like this anymore. Corporate Turnaround has helped thousands of small business owners reduce their debts and buy them the time they needed to pay their creditors. Rated A plus by the Better Business Bureau, Corporate Turnaround will immediately go to work handling your most difficult debts and keep your creditors from putting you out of business. The call is free and so is our consultation. That's right, we'll provide you with expert advice right now absolutely for free as part of this special radio promotion. Visit us now at ProfitFromDebt.com or call 1-800-505-3894. 1-800-505-3894. 1-800-505-3894. She knows a hollow from a double up. She does snapbacks, backsides, shoots the curl. Bethany Hamilton knows everything about surfing. She just didn't know about the shark. But just months after the attack, and with only one arm, the 13-year-old surfs again. And now she's ripping it better than ever. So next time life puts a little fear in you, just think of Bethany Hamilton hanging 10 on top of a heavy wave. That's real courage. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're at this week's box office and movie report. Steve Evans. Steve, the movie guy. Well, thank you, Paul. The Possession was number one again last weekend, 9.3 million. Lawless, number two. The Expandables, two, was number three. That movie's made about 75.6 so far. The Words was number four. And Paranorman rounding out the top five. Well, you know, Paul, we've often talked about movies that are like movies we've seen before. This movie is actually a movie we have seen before. It's back. Yes, Finding Nebo is back in 3D. 99% of the critics are recommending you check this one out. This, of course, with a great voice cast, Albert Brooks, Ellen DeGeneres, William Defoe. And this, of course, is about little Nemo. When on his first day of school, he defies his father, swims off alone to investigate a boat. He's suddenly scooped up by a diver as his father helplessly watches 
while his father, Marlon, turns to desperate as he frantically swims off in search of his son. As he passes a school of fish, he bumps into Dory, an agreeable blue tang with a severe short-term memory loss who offers to help. Of course, Dory played by the absolutely adorable Ellen DeGeneres. Now, together, this aquatic odd couple set off out on an impossible mission, finding themselves in troubled water and contending with such hazards as sharks and deadly angler fishes and, of course, a forest of jellyfish. All of this happening in 3D. Yes, it's back, and it will be number one again this weekend. Did you see the original, by the way? You know, I haven't, but it sounds great. Well, you'll have a chance to see it this time around. Also, while we have Resident Evil Retribution. Now, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't to be confused with Resident Evil, the movie which came out in 2002, or Resident Evil Afterlife or Extinction or Apocalypse. Yes, this is the fifth in a long series of Resident Evil films. This is about the Umbrella, or, uh, the Umbrella Corporation's deadly T-virus continuing to ravage the Earth, transforming the global population into legions of flesh-eating undead, which is highly unpleasant. Well, the uh, human race's last and only hope, Alice, awakens in the heart of Umbrella's most clandestine operations facility and unveils more of her mysterious past as she delves further into the complex. 25% of the critics are recommending this. Mila Jovovich, of course, starring in Resident Evil once again. Arbitrage. This is a movie getting great reviews, starring Richard Gere and Susan Sarandon, also Tim Roth in this. Three out of four stars in USA Today. 81% of the critics recommending this. This is a, you know, kind of loosely based on Bernie Madoff and that whole thing. Now, when we first meet New York hedge fund magnate Robert Miller, played by Richard Gere, it's on the eve of his 60th birthday, he appears to be the very portrait of success in American business and family life, but behind the gilded walls of his mansion. Miller is way in over his head, desperately trying to complete the sale of his trading empire to a major bank before the depths of his fraud are revealed. It's supposed to be a terrific movie. Three out of four stars, 81% of the critics recommending. Finally, opening in a limited release this weekend, it is the new film by uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. This is the one with Joaquin Phoenix and Amy Adams and Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's about, uh, well, it's, a, it's about loosely based on Scientology, getting a lot of buzz. 84% of the critics recommending that. A lot of Oscar buzz surrounding that title. All right, here's what's going to happen. Finding Nemo 3D. It will be number one again, making $24 million this weekend. Resident Evil Retribution, they say, is going to make about 22 followed by The Possession, Lawless, and The Expandables 2. That's what's happening at the box office. You can check it all out at the website. Have a great weekend. All right, Steve Evans. Steve, we'll be looking forward to your report next week, and uh, we'll be enjoying the movies with you. And uh, uh, By the way, I don't know, Steve, if you've ever been out to the uh, Palm Springs area and the Desert Shadows Resort, but we've gotten some calls here on the program in the last few minutes. Uh, apparently, it has been renamed the Desert Sun Resort. So, for those that are inclined to check it out, it's the Desert Sun. And uh, uh, apparently, I don't know why they somebody cared to mention it, but apparently, the day passes are now for couples only. Interesting. Oh, really? Is and clothing, clothing is optional. optional yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if somebody was insinuating that I was there on a day pass. <laughs> A, a day is pass? This, is this the clothing optional place you went? Or? Uh, yeah, let's not discuss it any further, I guess, at this point. Uh, for Steve Evans, for Eric Hines, for Michael Horn, and everybody here at What's Cooking, eat well.